what is up guys welcome back to another video this morning we got a package from kanze and i just want to thank the guys at kanze for sending out some love wanting to send this package for us on this channel it's a pretty big box so all these packing peanuts over here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at that, guys. This is super, super sick. They sent out two quarter panels. Oh, actually, this is a snapback. I love snapbacks. That is insane. I love it. And a quarter panel. This one is sick. Oh my gosh. This amazing, beautiful Kanze shirt looks super sick. Thank you, guys. Oh, this is no way. Oh, that is so sick. They sent out like a little black banner. That's dope. Thank you, guys. This is beautiful. I'm gonna put this in the garage. Got yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's so sick. Got a little mouse pad over here. Got a bunch of cool keychains and sticker. Oh, that's dope. Thank you guys so much. These are beautiful. Oh, how do they know? I, I take my sticky notes very seriously, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Kanze, so much for hooking it up. <laughs> Honestly, guys, go ahead to Kanze's website and just shop their products. They're absolutely an amazing brand. So guys, sorry, we are not actually getting a wheel sponsor. Not yet, at least. But we did get a care package from Kanze Wheels. They messaged me and offered to send me a bunch of goodies and apparels and all the good stuff that they sell on their store. As you guys saw on one of my most recent videos i did pick up these kanze rokus for my wrx i just completely love their brand i love what their brand stands for i love how they represent themselves i love the refreshing vibe that i get whenever i see their logo there's just something about it to my kanze haters what should my next set of wheels be tandems or what it's super funny to me because i know there's a bunch of 20 plus year old dudes that know me or watch my videos and they just absolutely cry and say all these hateful things just because they don't like the brand of my wheels and they hate it mainly because you know they're not works they're not raised bbs but they're not like those other top tier brands that everyone else gets for the hype most of the guys that are usually hating are the ones that are like 25 years old plus almost hitting 30 and complaining about the kind of wheels that a 16 year old kid has on his miata and honestly i get it you know xxr esrs those kind of wheels they literally try to copy other brands like one to one but when it's other wheels that have like very different designs just like similar spokes and stuff like that but the details are very different and i just don't understand what all the hate's about i mean if you guys are still young and you're hating on wheel brands i mean i totally get it you're just immature but you know if you're like 20 plus years old 25 almost pushing 30 and bro that's honestly all i'm saying is if you're still hating on kanze wheels grow a pair of balls or something go outside get alive kanze is doing some seriously insane and beautiful things you know say all you want but their wheels are literally so perfect oh my gosh it's such a beautiful day outside guys look at that butt oh my gosh I never really showed this in a video, but I actually plastic dip the badges. Actually, I don't even know if I showed you guys, but yeah, I plastic dip the badges because I know a lot of people don't like the chrome look on the trunk, especially with the badges because there's so many of them. There's three different badges on the WRX, um, and I didn't want to take them off, but I didn't like how they looked, so I kind of equaled it out by making them look low key. So I just plastic dip them, which is basically like a matte black. I feel like to really top this build out, I need to get like those CS style like side skirt loops, but I feel like it's just missing so much. The air out camera is actually pretty sick. I believe that's negative six, negative seven. Nothing too crazy, but it looks pretty sick when it's aired out. I think it's a good time to go for me and go DoorDash right now. The weather's so beautiful. I love living in California, except for the $7 gas prices. Those suck so much. I know in the past video, I talked to you guys about me getting like a drift car, but honestly with what's going on with our economy and stuff, like this whole gas price situation thing, I, I don't know. I feel like I need to get a Prius or something. I'm being like for real, like I'm highly considering of picking up a hybrid car. Honestly, what I hate the most about door dashing in the WRX is the fact that it doesn't have a, a touchless uh, keyless start. Pretty expensive compared to my Altima that was like $9,000 and I had a touchless start. This thing has a key. Kind of sucks about that. But yeah, we just picked up a, an order from Jack in the Box. I'm gonna go deliver it, which is like less than half a mile away. How do I hear out from? <laughs> there was no point in hearing out, but once again with the key. Now we got another order, guys. Get in this freaking car. And boom, windows up so you don't get robbed. I need the high mileage car. I literally got this car in November and I already have 13,510 miles, which is ridiculous. That's over a one year average of how much my car should be with its miles. So I need a beater car. 
So usually whenever I drop off an order like at a house or like in the apartment like this, I leave my car on just so I don't have to go through the whole starting it up issue. I air the car out just so if someone tries to steal it, they can't drive. Pretty sure no one really knows how to operate this thing. Uh, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end my dash just for today. It's been two hours, wrecked up about 80 bucks. Um, Could have done a little bit more. I just didn't have enough energy. It's been a while since I last door dash. It's been like a whole month, so I'm kind of a little rusty. But we do need some gas, so we should probably go get some right now. I know what you guys may be thinking. You may be like, oh, Jin, why are you putting E85 in your stock fuel pump WRX? I don't mean to be the guy that bursts your bubbles. Get a bubble. Here is an article from a professional tuner from Fat Body Tuning. In his article, he basically talks about how his dam was down at 0.312 and that he had negative 8 degrees of fine learning not correction. He said his car was jerky and overall drove like- He said that by putting ethanol in his car, it successfully stopped all the knock and the air fuel ratio was getting pretty lean. He concludes that putting 3 gallons of E85 to a full tank with 91 results in a consultant of a beautiful E24. If you have an issue with my information being correct, I will gladly put the link for the article from Fat Body Tuning in the description down below. I think putting E85 in a stock WRX is only an FA20 DIT thing, and I don't mean to speak for the whole herd, but if you have an EJ, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Not only is three gallons of E85 good for getting rid of knock on your WRX, but it's actually good for getting some really good gains. However, don't get carried away and put E85 in every fill up that you have, as it could wear out the stock components of your WRX. Ridiculous. Look at that wheel gap. I literally hate living in California so much. Gas is so expensive. Like the most expensive mod on my car is gas. Seriously, man. Well, Andre's first bundle work. <laughs> pretty, pretty solid, actually. Oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> look at that handle. Do you feel confident in your work? No. Hey guys, this is, this is Andre's first time ever using a rattle can. It's gonna go read his process. Okay. You go for it. <laughs> no! So guys, this is Andre's first coat. This is my first coat. I don't know. I honestly think, I think, I think this is the better coat. What do you guys think? Guys, who knew that wrapping this Wrapping the mirror caps would be the hardest part of this car. This is not the adjusted clock. It's actually 1.30. I don't think we're gonna go to school tomorrow. You know, with gas prices, guys, I honestly don't even go to school anymore. I just watch the lectures online. Wait, the oh my gosh, we burned the seat, huh? Yeah, I don't even go to school anymore because I just watch the lectures online because it's not worth driving so far to state just to have gas wasted. So, oh my gosh, look at Andre stretching. He's just going at it now. He gives up a line. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. <laughs> you guys should have seen it. <laughs> I think black mirrors are pretty cool, huh? No need for yellow mirror. <laughs> the yellow mirror thing is not gonna happen because <laughs> it took us half a half a coach carter. What's <laughs> up so guys? We're with we're with Ian over here. And he's gonna be doing some nasty things to his car. Ian over here. Ian, say what's up. I'm not. What's, up to, what's up to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna wrap Ian's car pink. But um, as usual, before you wrap, you gotta wash your car. But um, we had some pressure washer issues, so I have a leak. I have a cut in the hose, so it doesn't work. So we're just going about it with it with a water hose and a clay bar and a bucket of water. How do you feel about the process, Ian? Slow. We are now going to attack the hood, Jim. Yeah. I guess I messed up. Mm -hmm. I always fix this, Jim. <laughs> Yo guys, what is up? We are currently out here in the Asada, in the Asada line out here in Main Street. I just want to mention that some of the stuff that Kanze sent me in the packages, some of those actually aren't included on the website. I'll put all the stuff that are available on the website down in the description below. Once again, I just want to say thank you, Kanze, for sending out all of the goodies. Truly appreciate it. We just got the fries, guys. Let's go see if we can do some pops from the other. Right? 
Tips look super aggressive right now, as well as the stance. Can't really see it, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for staying so in tune with the videos, for watching everything as of right now. We only have 292 subscribers, but um, the recent video has actually been doing pretty well. I mean, it's not like any viewer counts, like other big time YouTubers who get like like 10,000 views in like two minutes. The other videos have been getting like 3,000, 2,000, over a thousand views on each video. And I'm just super thankful for you guys for watching all of it. Um, it really helps if you guys subscribe as always, like the video. And if you feel like being nice, feel free to comment guys. Someone said that I use my hands way too much whenever I talk and I'm sorry, this is just how I explain myself. But until the next one guys, I will see you. Have a good one. Peace.